Hey guys, Matt from Laser Everything here today to talk to you about something really cool that Johnson Plastic Plus just sent us over to add some color to our shop. So stick around and find out more. Alright guys, it is finally here. I've been waiting a few days for this to get there. It's the Sure Color SC F170. It's the newest addition to the Johnson Plastics Plus website. We're gonna crack this thing open and figure out how we can add some color to our shop because especially during this time of year, there's a lot of people who want colorful gifts, pictures, things that aren't just brown or white or black being engraved onto things. So we're really excited to add this to the shop and help teach you guys some more about this sublimation process. It comes with a crafting heat press, the machine, and two different sizes of paper for crafting. So get the printer itself for 450 or you can get the whole setup for 779. I'm really excited to add this to my shop because I've had tons of people who have constantly asked me, can you do something with color? Can you do something where you, and the only thing I've been able to say is yeah, I can do acrylic and I can do different colors like that. Uh, but this is a way that I'm able to actually add photorealism to my products and really expand on what I've got here at my shop for under $1,000. Most people in our line of work who are doing this as a side hustle or you're a small business can't really afford to drop twenty-five dollars to $40,000 on a really nice UV printer. So this is a really nice next step that takes up a small amount of space in my shop and lets me have a lot more versatility. So until I can get a UV printer, this is a really great option, again, to add color to my shop for under a thousand bucks. So while these aren't the only options on the website, I asked them to send it over to us because I really think that it's a great way to get yourself going in this market with a very safe budget. That's literally sometimes an order for some of us so that you can take the profit from one or two orders and reinvest it into a new machine and a new capability for your shop. Hopefully that explains why we're looking at it and how it can fit into your shop too. Without further ado, let's jump into the box. All right, guys, so here we go. We're about to jump into the box of the SureColor SCF170. Uh, pulling back the tape, I put these in here just to make the unboxing a little quicker, but this is the JP 8.5 by 11 sublimation paper, and we've got the 8.5 by 14 also there, the legal size. On top of that, we've got our quick start guide, which is going to be super helpful putting this thing together and getting it running because we got to make our money back. Inside, nice and snug, we've got all the different colors. So we have all four colors that are going to be used to fill it up. Also, we've got our plug for our AC adapter into the wall, and so that'll plug in nice and easy. We'll put that off to the side now. All right, so we've also got this nice and tightly packed in here. It didn't move or budge at all, so we're going to eat this styrofoam off to the side. We've got some more paperwork and underneath it, nice and secure, we've got the Epson printer. It's your standard printer. If you've ever bought anything in the last couple of years, it clearly says F170 and tells us where we're going to put our inks. Really easy to read. And that was everything that was in the first box. The next box we're going to open is the CP912 heat press from Johnson Plastics Plus that came with this setup. Again, this is the setup that you can get for $779. And Alex kind of made fun of me for this heat press. <laughs> Stupid. But I wanted to show you guys exactly what you'll get if you're buying a package from start trying to try something new. Uh, again, I didn't want to go for a big budget item. I wanted to be like anybody else who's trying something new. So we've got our information about the heat press in our booklet. We'll put that off to the side. And this thing is really nicely put in here with the styrofoam. And here she is, our brand new hot pink CP912 heat press. <coughs> And look at this thing, it is a monster. Although it's hot pink, it might seem like it'd just be like cutesy. It's actually a pretty beefy piece of machinery. Again, the box weighed 40 pounds. This is made out of some really nice material, but it's got a really nice handle coming out of the box. Also looking at this thing, you can see all of the pieces of material that are inside of it are really nice. It's steel and the bolts are really hefty. So I'm gonna put this aside and we are going to get out all the components. We'll get it out of the bag here. So basically we have our color inks. We've got our two different size pieces of paper for sublimation. We've got the heat press and the other main component is our sublimation F170 printer. So all of these things came with the package that we bought today. So here we go, the hot pink CP912 is a really nice heat press. Taking a look at it, it's got some really nice rubber stoppers on the bottom that give you a lot of grip. So when you place it back down, you can see how easily it moves the table just by, it's not moving itself, it's not going anywhere. What's also really nice about this is the fact that it's a really small space 
in your workshop. This thing takes up probably about 18 inches lengthwise on your table. And when you look at it from the other way, it's about 12 to 13 inches wide. And it's got some really nice cables coming out the back, high quality electronics and electric wires. The other thing about this, it has a really nice handle on it to make sure that you get a lot of force when you go to press something. You've got a lot of options for the amount of force you can put on it. You can also use the steel rod to basically adjust the height that you're going to have the items inside. And it probably fits anywhere from a quarter inch to a half of an inch item in there and can still apply moderate force. Also, you can see that it's got the different settings for temperature, time, and what's really nice too is it has a hydraulic lift. It's got a silicone platen on the bottom and the heat platen on top fit really nicely together. You won't have any issues with anything coming off or sticking out the sides. This thing presses down really nicely. All right, guys, we just unfolded our quick start. We've got our paper and our inks that we're gonna move out of the way and see how long this actually takes to get going. First off, when opening your Epson FC-170, you want to go ahead and take off all the blue tape that you're gonna find holding in the different places. So taking a look at the setup guide, it basically said there was even more tape on the inside so that we needed to open up the pieces and remove that. That. That's the printer ribbon inside there. So we took that off. And so this is where it told us that we had to get our inks. So we got all four inks and these things are vacuum sealed. So you'll need something sharp, which is what you see me going to get. And what's really cool about these is you shake them up for a few seconds. I think it said shake it 15 times. I did it for way more than that. And then once you take them out of the bag, every one of these tops of the items are keyed separately. So this is what the paper says that I'm reading right now. And when you take off the top, you can actually see it has two large pieces of plastics on the side. And that's actually got a special little shape to it. And it keys in to the actual place it's supposed to be. So you can't mistake the magenta and the cyan and the yellow and the black. Uh, so this part probably took like 15 minutes to get everything nice and filled up with the inks. And then after that, you're going to run a charging run, which you'll see later. These bottles full cost $40 from JP plus. There are other inks that you can use out there. When we were talking about it in our live stream this week, Epson ink really the, the nice thing about this. They're not policing you like sometimes with other brands, um, like I believe Sawgrass and a couple other ones, the, the printer will stop working. So like all kinds of issues happen when you don't use their specific ink. The nice thing is Epson's letting you have some freedom here, but this ink has printed great so far. So we got the cyan filled up super fast and you can see the black by the way is like double the amount of the cyan because black is in everything where cyan yellow and magenta are only in the color parts uh going back to my thought though eco tank fills up really cheap. Certain other brands like Sawgrass and a couple of other ones definitely had some issues when I read about them. It costs about three to $400 to fill up all of your cartridges again, whereas this costs 160 bucks, I think $40 per bottle to fill up your entire tank again, if it was completely depleted and empty. The nice thing is though, you can buy the colors that you need. So if you're using a lot of magenta or a lot of yellow, you don't have to spend $400 and buy a complete pack like other brands. This one lets you just buy the bottles that you need. So magenta filled up nice and easily and quickly. I really do think this is going to be great for my shop because I'll be able to save some money while getting what I need versus having to always buy everything all at once and drop in a whole bunch of bank. All right. So all four of them are in there. You make sure that you hear a nice click. It's very clear about that. And so now that I've got that done, I've clicked it all in. Everything looks good. And so basically filling this up, once you get this filled up, the next thing you're supposed to do is charge the lines, which takes like 25% of your ink. But the good news is there's still extra ink in every bottle and you can absolutely refill what is used to charge the lines. In the next episode of the sublimation, we're going to be looking at how to charge the lines. We're also going to be looking at how to install the drivers for the printer onto your actual computer. We'll be making sure that we show you guys how to install that properly. And then we'll be looking at some testing and calibration that we do on the machine itself. Also, we'll be making sure to show you how to connect that to Wi-Fi. And then we'll be showing you guys some of the different forms of printing because there are two different types of printing. Uh, one is for hard pressing and one is for more soft presses. So it's pretty interesting. And finally, we will do our big reveal on our first sublimation success. We used a piece of ceramic and then we basically talk about what we figured out and why this was definitely something we should add to our shop for the small price that it cost. So. Hopefully it's something you want to learn more about, and if so, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.